Ooh, we are back for some more spooky, scary Creeptober. Yeah. Okay, Jennifer, we're, we're going to make it out of this alive. Actually, where we are. But anyway, we're up in the cabinet room. This is actually a pretty good place to hide if you're being chased because you can use this insecticide to uh, stop him. But what you want to do is go over here and click on this box because we need an item from it. And Jennifer is going to show off that she has absolutely no upper body strength. I mean, look at that. Not even, like, half a pull-up. But once you've done that, you can click on this box, and she will push it over. And this entire part is automatic. You don't have to do anything. Oh, actually, you know, once you're done, you have to click on this again. And she will climb over. Drop down, open this box, and there's some clothes in there. And you need a black robe. You need that for the end of the game. But now that we're done, we can actually go back out to that bird nest and pick up the key, because I figured out how to do it. And it's pretty much the same as in many other... Uh, puzzle games where you have to click on something to get the sort of idea of what it is and then the object that you want to move and now she will move the box over because she realizes hey wait I need this and it's funny because right there she walks in front of it where clearly 10 seconds ago she had to hop over it Alrighty, and up here, it's a bird nest, dear. Eggs and junk. What, are they, what is it, a magpie? But we get a West Wing key that is in, again, if that key was not in the box downstairs in the TV room, that's where it is. Now, if you press the X button, which is... The button normally used to make her cease walking she will pretty much sit down and I can't hover over her portrait but she will gradually recover health and it takes way too long so if I ever get down to red and I need to heal I will either cut the episode off there and pick up with full health or just cut that part out because I mean look at this like, it's already it's yellow So how's everybody doing? Uh, everybody join the October? It is currently the night of October 5th, and a hurricane, Hurricane Matthew, is actually coming, not towards me, but it's about to hit Florida tomorrow. Now, as I may have discussed before, I moved to South Carolina, and the dog needs to stop. I'm going to start taking their, their collars off before I start recording, because, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can hear that. I can't really mute it in any way. But, uh, yeah. So it's going to come and not hit. It's not projected to hit, like, the coast of the United States. It's just going to, like, stay just offshore and hammer the coastline, which I'm not anywhere near, so I don't have to worry about it now. Now that we're healed, let's move on. Now that we have the key, what we can do is we need to go uh, think for a second. Oh, don't don't okay, I guess you just have to wait. Where is I'm trying to remember where I'm supposed to go. I think I have to go downstairs. Because right now we have the insecticide. I want to go to the kitchen because there's another key in there that I will show you why you can't pick it up without the insecticide. The ringing phone is actually an Im important for a scene that I will get to probably at the tail end of this video. Maybe maybe not. It depends on how far along. I'm already at five minutes. Jennifer didn't have a 
snail's pace of walking anywhere. It's actually that door right there. But we want to go in here. This is the kitchen. If you continue walking to the left, you make it to the garage where you can actually... I w it's one of the uh, alternate endings there. I will show that at some point. Actually, it's part of a few alternate endings. And we're in the kitchen, so let's uh, turn the lights on, because why not? Now, there is some meat in this refrigerator. Do not grab it. Because if you do, uh, you will it, you will get forced into a scene later because you have that item in your inventory. So let's just um, do a save right there, and let's go open the refrigerator. There's also a uh, on the shelf here is a beverage and it can do one of two things it can restore your vigor which basically brings you back to blue but i'm already there or it will what oh. ah, killer bugs so yeah wasn't well, that fun <laughs> but just gonna Go back to where I was. A button brings up your inventory. Select the insecticide. Your cursor will change that. Let's go use this on the fridge now that we are clairvoyant and know that it is going to be filled with giant cockroaches. And there they go. So that's why we needed to go upstairs to collect the insecticide, because we need to get this key out of... Alright, so... Again, drink. Uh, it could restore your vigor, or it could render you unconscious and start another scene that I don't feel like doing. <laughs> I don't feel like taking the chance, because, I mean, obviously we can heal pretty much at will. All right, let's go back this way. I believe we need to go back upstairs. The phone's going to start ringing again in a second. Which, I don't really understand. Like, I mean, I understand what the phone is trying to tempt you to go into a certain room. Which, you know... I don't know why she'd answer the phone in a strange house, unless maybe to go, Oh my god, I'm in trouble. But, you know, she's not, there's no cue of, oh, hey, the phone is ringing. It sounds like it's coming from, you know, X door. So, like, there's nothing giving me, the player, any indication to go in said specific door. But we need the West Wing key for this door. I believe we also need it for the door below, which brings you to basically the same thing. It's a random corridor. Now, something may happen, or it may not. Okay, it's a scream. This is called the Scream Corridor for a reason. You can check on all these windows. Is it, not all of them. Where's the one that I want? Okay, that one. I'm going to save here. And show you what happens when you check on this window. That is, uh, Anne dying. But for this ending, I do not want to do that, so I'm just going to pretend that that did not happen. I don't know if that'll happen more than once, the scream. Uh, uh, don't go left, it leads to a mannequin room, which is just... Uh, another place to spawn Bobby, and I don't feel like doing that because I don't want to run away from him. Uh, you want the middle door, which is right here. Because there is yet another item. Uh, 
I always feel like somebody's watching me. We need to click on the, uh, not the, the doll. You can click on the doll. It just says it's a clown doll, but you can click on the, what the, the hell? What the hell is this thing doing? It's possessed. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Alright, now when you see it start flashing there, hit the panic button, and bah! If you do it fast enough, you win. Okay, well, let's see. It's a big clown doll. This is a child's bed. Uh, really nothing in this room. Nothing in the room. I believe these lights don't work. Yeah, switch is broken. So, there's no reason to go in the room on the right, yet. Now, I'm going to show you something here. This room right here could actually be one of four different rooms. If I go into it, and it's a certain thing, that that means that the other rooms that... Because I'm looking for a specific one. Uh, called the Crow Room. Which, I don't know where it is. It could be this room. It could be three other rooms throughout the house. So let's go in here and we'll see what this one actually is. Alright, this is the other bathroom. Actually, is this... What the... Oh. Damn cat. <laughs> okay, she kind of got spooked out of there. It's my health. Oh, it's going to go back to orange. Well, that was pretty scary. I mean, it scared me, right? Not really. I wanted to know if there were... Actually, can I go in there? There, I don't want to say I can go in there. Does this work? Oh, okay. No. Uh, now I guess what the hell are you doing? Did I tell you to go? No. I did not tell you to go in there. Leave. Leave immediately. Pfft. Woman. This is actually a safe room. If you uh, want to escape from him, you can come in the bathroom and shut the door. Except it's not a safe room because he will kill you. He'll break the door down and come after you anyway. Well, not kill, but he'll break the door down and come after you. Alright, so let's let her rest while I take a minute to discuss something. <laughs> there is a PlayStation version of this game. And there's a lot of neat scenes in there. Like if you could turn on a faucet, there's blood, or there's maggots, or there's all sorts of other weird stuff. I contemplated playing that one, but I couldn't find a English version of it that actually worked, at least uh, in time for the first episode that I wanted to be up on October 1st, so that's why you didn't get that. I might end up, you know, as we get closer to Halloween, show off some different things, you know, differences and whatnot if I do different endings, but that's a question for next time. So next time we'll continue exploring this creepy-ass house in uh, Let's Play Clock Tower for Creeptober. Make sure to keep tabs on all the Creeptober other Let's Plays that are going on. Uh, B-Dude is playing... Corpse Party, which was a PSP kind of uh, sort of a game like this where it's, you know, point, click, explore, all sorts of stuff. Uh, Ryan, the RPG tour guide, will be starting Maniac Mansion, a very pop well, not popular, but a very interactive, you know, point, click Nintendo game. So, yeah. Let's, uh, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, and have a good night.